dad grew up in West Hartford, Connecticut. He was the fourth child in a family of five. Everybody in his family worked, so he always worked when he was growing up. He always had at least two or three jobs. When I was a little girl, I used to go to work with him a lot in, uh, in Hartford, and we would drive through kind of the more disadvantaged areas, and he would always say, you know, look, you know, look and look and look because you don't know how lucky you are. He has been a developer of affordable housing. In fact, he's the largest developer of affordable housing in the state of Arizona. He sniffs out underserved locations, develops housing product that's targeted to its intended residents, and brings his costs in on budget. I know that none of those properties have gone under if you will. He has kept them all, they are all still going and thriving just as well now as they were when they first started. They are not a ghetto, they are not a barrio, but they are upkept and, and just a great piece of property that would fit in any place in this valley, in any neighborhood in this valley, they would be, that would be a welcome addition. He talks about the complexes, he calls them his children, and I think that he he has a similar attitude towards the complexes as he has towards, um, towards his actual children in that he always wants us to strive to do better. Like Whitney, Mark has a passion, Mark has a commitment, Mark has a dedication to helping those less fortunate than he is. How important is the housing that Mark provides to Arizona's residents? 43% of Arizona's residents' income falls at or below 60% of area median income. Thank you for devoting your knowledge and expertise to provide safe, decent housing for Arizona's lower income residents. We wish you many more years of success. Mm -hmm.